Hey everyone, it's Ashley and I'm back with a Christmas DIY tutorial. And this time I wanted to show you guys how to make your own cute little stocking stuffer um, bean bags for kids. And this is just something that's easy to do and you can use recycled materials like um, recycled fabric, that type of thing. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. And this is great for little kids who are really active and you wanna you know, play different games with them, uh, you know, like tossing bean bags in little buckets or having them balance it or just, you know, fun stuff like that. So um, it's also great for kids, you know, who have sensory issues. Um, I know a lot of times, you know, rice and bean bags and that type of thing is recommended um, to play with. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, please stay tuned. Okay guys, these are the materials that you're going to need. First, you're going to need some sort of fabric and the type of fabric that I would recommend is something that's uh, soft for, you know, small children and also tightly woven. Um, for this particular tutorial, I'm using fleece. And you can find this a lot of times, you know, at thrift stores. You can find it um, on sale at, you know, your local fabric store. I know Joann's frequently run seasonal sales on their, all their fleece. Um, so something along those lines. You're also going to need um, either rice or beans to fill it with. If you're doing this for small children, I'd recommend something like rice, um, you know, because it won't be as heavy. If you're choosing, you know, something for older children, then maybe the beans would be uh, a little bit better. But for this example, I'm making the smaller version. You're also going to need um, something to create like a little funnel to put in uh, whatever material you're using. So this one I'm using rice, so I made a little wax paper funnel with just a piece of uh, wax paper and tape. You're also going to need um, scissors and either a sewing machine or you can hand sew this with a needle and thread. So after you get all your materials together, you're going to want to cut your fabric into, uh, for smaller children, a four inch square just because it will fit better in you know smaller hands. And for older children, you're probably going to look at like a six inch square just because it'll make a, a you know a better size for their for their hands. So um, you're going to take these two pieces. So you're going to cut two that are the same size, and you will put them right sides together. So the side that's printed will face each other and you're just going to line those up and try to keep them as accurately as possible so that they line up on the top and when you get started for sewing you're going to want to um, set the machine to a quarter inch and you're going to start actually um, you want to leave a space to fill it so when i'm going to start i'm going to start right in here and i'm going to leave a, the space in the middle open for filling so i'm going to start here go all the way around back up to the top and leave a little space. So there'll be about that much of a gap in between uh, for filling. And I will turn this inside out and show you guys um, the next step after this too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started, just making sure to leave a little space. So you start a few stitches in, make sure you go backwards a little bit so that you're, you give yourself um, you know, a tighter um, thread there. When you get to the end, then you leave the needle in and you can spin the fabric and you don't have to actually redo it. And I'm just spinning it again. towards the starting position so I'm just going to uh, sew forward a little bit, back stitch, and then take it off the machine. Okay, and you're just going to want to make sure you clip all the extra threads. If you're worried about um, it spilling or, or you want to increase the durability, you can go back in the sections over here and do um, a zigzag stitch but I don't think it really needs it. They tend to be pretty durable. And once you get the, I'm trying to find the other thread here. Once you get the extra threads clipped, then what you're going to do is find where the little hole is here and you're going to flip it inside out. And I'll go ahead and show you guys after that part's done. Okay guys, so once you get it turned inside out, you're going to want to take um, something, you know, like a stick or something that you can get in here and poke the corners a little bit so that it creates that nice sharp edge on all four corners. And then you'll notice you have a little pocket there. 
that's where you're going to go ahead and fill it. So you're going to take your funnel and make sure you leave enough room on the bottom of the funnel that you can actually get the rice through or the beans through um, relatively easy, easily. And you're just going to place your funnel inside the little pocket here and you're going to go ahead and start filling it. This is a little bit messy, so um, a little warning there guys that make sure your workspace is prepared to handle that kind of stuff. So just go like that and then you can start filling it. And you just keep adding until it's filled and then I'll show you from there. Okay, so once you get it filled, you're actually not going to want to fill it completely all the way to the top. I have it filled to about here, so about three quarters of the way because you want to have a little room uh, for it to move around as you're squishing it. So um, try to keep all the rice towards the bottom and then you're going to pinch that area where it's going to be um, sewn together. You're going to work on it from the machine and you're going to go right back over that seam um, all the way across and just create a nice, clean, even seam. So I'm just going to go in there and I'm going to go backwards a couple of stitches and when you get to the end just make sure you go backwards again and then you're going to cut off the extra um, strings here and there you have it voila little tiny um, you know rice or bean bag type of um, thing for kids to play with and they have a great time playing with these so um, You can make as many as you want and these are just kind of like a fun stocking stuffer and that type of thing Okay, so guys, here's the finished product And as you can see, you know tiny cute adorable fun So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below and I'd be happy to answer them and if you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!